Welcome everyone to Streamer Showdown, Hearthstone Edition for July 2018. I'm Noxious. I'll be your host for this episode, where we'll be pitting your favorite streamers against one another in a battle of wits and artistic talent, of course. So as usual, we've got the returning champion, Mr. Disguise Toast in the left corner, Trump at the bottom, and a newcomer, a new blood for the blood god, Pathra. So Pathra, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I mean, I'm doing fine. I'm just, uh, I'm just here to watch you guys battle it out. I'm always enjoying the show and the carnage. It seems like people always come in a bit confident. Do you, do you feel like you've got, you've got some preparation done, or? Um, I hope it's enough preparation. I've gone through some of the old vods, um, but I'm still scared because I'm up against, you know, two great people <laughs> like Toast and Trump. They're, I think they're the best at this. I think they're at least the guys that have come on the show the most often um, together. This guy still did skip an episode to be gentle, but it didn't really change all that much. Trump, how do you fare today, sir? I think I'm a solid third place, second to only uh, Ben Brode, obviously, and then this guy's toast himself. But you know what? I am bringing the fighting spirit today. Yeah, we saw you clean your glasses before the show started, the ritual of victory, as it is. Toast, I'm guessing uh, the usual confidence is going to be up. The spirits are high. I am very, very confident. But Trump has been uh, giving me a bit of worry. Most people, like, once I smack them down, they are too traumatized to come back. But Trump just keeps coming and coming. Like, I feel him getting stronger. So They call um, me but- the cockroach. I just can't get <laughs> <laughs> you just can't die. You'll eventually take over the world. It's just a matter of time before we get there. Um, so Toast, I mean, you're sort of, you know, mocking, mockingly saying that you're smashing people down. They don't come back. But that's that's actually half true. There's some truth to that. As you've sort of been the gold standard, whenever people, you know, we ask them, you want to come on the show, they say, well, I'm really bad at this and I'm going to be up against Toast. Therefore, I won't come on the show. So it's not nice both are willing to sacrifice mm-hmm. perhaps... A, uh, a shot at this. Although I would love her to win, just so you can actually be, you know, put back in your place, Toast. I'd love to see you go away <laughs> at this point. You're kind of part of the furniture. Everyone's right. watching just for that small chance I lose. <laughs> well, what if you have a stroke? You know, who knows? Might might just happen. <laughs> so before we move forward, I'll just re-explain the show for those of you who may not be familiar with it. This is a show where we'll be playing multiple games with the contestants. They'll be accumulating points, and with those points, they'll be able to secure themselves first, second, or third place at the end. First place gets to pick an emote to have the chat spam in their honor once we get there. If we get there, we have our usuals, um, so I'm not too surprised if we see some more pod champing, but who knows what could happen. We'll have six games today for you, and of course, as always, if you guys would like to support the show, if you think that the crew is doing a good job, if you think the questions are well-written, if you're entertained, feel free to head down to http slash uh, colon slash slash showdowntip.com to tip the Matcherino tip jar. We've had this as a system ever since episode number one, and we've kept it up. You guys have been very, very helpful keeping the show going. So again, it's going to be up for the episode. I'll be doing reminders throughout. Um, so, you know, just uh, just a heads up. That being said, are you guys ready? Yep. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Let's rock. Let's, let's start this round one. Round one. All right. So round one it is. My favorite segment, or one of my favorites at least, Cardology. So Cardology is a game where we'll be presenting you a series of hints to describe a card, and your goal is to guess what that card is. Now, if you get the guess wrong, you will be losing points. Every correct guess is going to yield 100 points, and every wrong answer is going to lose you 100 points. So you can technically go down below zero, so make sure you don't have the disadvantage going into it. We'll give four hints per card. There are a total of 10 cards, and obviously the first hints tend to be a little bit harder than the last ones. The last ones are usually on the easier side. But to be honest, after vetoing some of those, um, they, they're kind of tough, so good luck. <laughs> All right. First cardology, let's go. First hint. Oh, it hurts so good. Oh, it hurts so good. I, uh, probably already some guesses forming. Hint number two. A very common draw. A very common draw. No takers? All right, next up. 
Hit number three. When volcano in your Show me Acolyte of Pain. Is it Acolyte of Pain? Uh... You're gonna have to buzz in earlier, Disguise Toast. Maybe on clue two? I know you knew it then, but you wanted to give yourself a little bit of extra value, just like me. All right, Trump. I didn't know we were tryharding this game. <laughs> oh, I actually <laughs> thought Acolyte of Pain has been used in the past. Yeah. Yeah, I can repeat. <laughs> no, just different clues. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just that we, we've used a lot of cards. I mean, I don't think we're going to be reusing a whole lot of them. I feel like we've used that one before. So maybe that's why you were, uh, you know, sort of looking elsewhere. Mm. Um, hit number four for the final one. That one was a dead giveaway. Zero. <laughs> An acolyte of gain. I mean, if you don't get that one, we can't, we can't help out. So uh, we got a donation of $50 by Faulty Wires TV. So thanks for that. Really appreciated, as always. Card number two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep the show going. Hint number one of cards and body. <sighs> Acolyte of pain again? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. All right, hint number two. A two card combo. Still Acolyte of pain. <laughs> hint number three then, if no one's willing to take that one. To be fair, it's still very vague. Music to your ears. Patra. Um... Uh, minstrel. Minstrel. Okay, can yeah. you specify the minstrel type? Elven okay. minstrel. Is it oh. elven <laughs> minstrel? <laughs> Nailed so it. Wow, me. that. All right. Well, see that that was uh, that was an early buzz. All right, cool. Well, hint number four. What was the last one? I don't think I would have found it with these three hints, knowing myself. A rogue with pointy ears, alluding, of course, to the fact that it is an elf in the rogue class. Trying to wrap it all up together in one neat little package. Hint, I mean, card number three, I should say. Hint number one. A man in the middle. A man in the middle. Hint number two. A zoo favorite. This guy's still so already good. Uh -oh. What you got? <laughs> I just realized it's two options, but I'm going to go with the new one, Fungal Mancer. Is it Fungal Mancer? That's no man, you fool. Oh, oh what? On. Don't assume fungal mancer's gender. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a fungal mancer, right? So I guess it's man oh, wolf like man of Mangus. Like that just doesn't work nearly as much. Could have been wolf too, but it's not a man. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was thinking Argus. Hmm. Yeah, everybody was That's thinking. uh was Drain thinking Eye, which is a different race from man. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And you think the kobold is just a dude? No worries, it's, it's cool. Whatever floats your boat toast. Hit number three. More buff than body. Of course, referring to the stats that he gives out, which are bigger than his stat line. And hit number four, which is, well, a mushroom magician. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool card. Card number four. Let's go. Even score so far. Hit number one, unlock a tricky turn. Unlock a tricky turn. Okay, hit number two. Discover and play. Hit number three. I love seeing their faces. Master the secrets of magic. This guy still with the buzz. Arcane Keysmith. Are we looking for Arcane Keysmith? Of course we were. What else? Clap, clap, clap. Toast did it again. Hit number four. <laughs> Giving you the keys to victory. Of course, being the Arcane Keysmith. See, this is a card during the vetoing process. I just did not remember the name to. Trump and Pathra, did you know the name at all? Or is it just... Yeah, I knew it was yeah. Secret Discover Woman, but... <laughs> secret <laughs> Discover Woman. <laughs> Quite good enough. Okay, yeah, the, the card name just doesn't uh, come to mind naturally for me. All right, card number five, then. Let's go. Let's get those even scores up. Hint number one, just enough to win a face-off. Just enough to win a face-off. Hint number two. This one's pretty big. Armor for him, armor for you. 
Mm, hit number three. A beast of a bug. All right. Hit number four. A rattling insect. Trump with the buzzing. What's up? I don't understand clue two, but plated beetle. Are we looking for plated beetle? Okay, so clue number clue number two is he's a plated beetle. Ergo, he's got armor. You've got armor. Um, um, but I, uh, I told I told Shan Man no one is gonna get it. And I guess I guess at the end of the day you did. Also, how do you know the plated beetle is a male? Armor for him. Armor for you. Like. <laughs> <laughs> this this clue is the female beetles don't wear armor it's just uh they're not playing oh, oh, okay. very cool beetles like okay. badass beetles all right <laughs> that was trying to dra drag the show through the mud of the mob <laughs> it's not gonna happen Card number six <laughs> hit number one not of the sea <sighs> i see three employed toast i'll defend the show with my life Hit number two. <laughs> Not of arcane origins. Okay. Hit number three. Not made of lava. Wow. Hit number four. A mountain of a minion. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's mountain giant. Is it mountain giant? <sighs> It is indeed. The toast just crumbling to the ground. <laughs> now, to be fair, you could have just pitched out, you know, clockwork giant. Yeah, like, that's the walk of shame over there. Is he stretching or is he walking in shame? But there was clockwork giant, which we thought about. There's also the snow fury giant and shaman that we, we had in mind. <laughs> but, I see um, you forgot to stretch before we played yeah. today. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. was... I'm just letting you get a head start. <laughs> Very generous. All right, Pathor, just just uh, just just get another point so Toast is left. Yeah, in the mud. I'm trying. Card number seven. Let's keep going. Hit number one doesn't leave a mark. Does not leave a mark. Hit number two. This continues a pact. This continues a pact. I'm so confident. I'm just going for it. Skulking Geist. Are we looking for Skulking Geist? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was Dark Pact and uh, Hunter's Mark. Oh, one man. mana getting deleted from the deck. Ooh. Skulking Geist. All right, that was a... So I guess the stretching did work, unfortunately. So hit number three. <laughs> Let's see it. Neutralize, naturalize. Hmm. And hit number four. C -c -c Combo Breaker. Which is, of course, alluding to all the ways in which it disrupts all sorts of combos. All right, card number eight. Tell us back in the back in the driver's seat. Hint number one. Each card makes me shrivel up in fear. Each card makes me shrivel up in fear. Hint number two. Some think I'm a ghost. Some think I'm not. This guy's toast. Already clicking this. Which would grizzly? Are we looking for Witchwood Grizzly? Wow. All right. This is like, now he's metagaming us with his out of game <laughs> knowledge. This isn't okay. We gotta go, we gotta go deeper. Hit number three. Toast is just doing it again. A Katrina Star Recruit, of course, referring to the deck in which it's played. Mm. Hint number four. Mauling, my dude. So that was a reference to, of course, bears that do, in, th in fact, maul things. Card number nine, only two to go. Trump and Patra, get them points. Do it. Hit number one. What's mine is yours. I'm pretty used to the reverse, but, you know. Hit number two. Mentally clear. Oh, the faces. Hint number three. The reset button. Hint number four. A priest shout out. Trump. Uh, psychic scream. <laughs> Are we looking for psychic scream? Oh, dude. 
That was pretty All right. Clap, clap, clap. Nailed it. All right. So um, this is going to be the last card for Cardology, but I'd like to point out that most of the points will be accumulated in the uh, later rounds. This is like a, a good warm-up session. So you still have to prove your artistic skill later, Toast. Don't, uh, don't think you can escape that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Card number 10. <sighs> a legendary oldie, uh, but a goodie. Hint number two. Sword and shield at my side. No. Hint number three. Bringing the land to ashes. I told you, Chan Man. I told you they wouldn't do it. Hint number four. Much taller than the Lannister one. It's a legendary. Yes, oh, yes, no Tyrion Fordring. Tyrion <laughs> Lannister. <laughs> Is it Tyrion Fordring? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I, I like the, the, the Eureka moment <laughs> when Trump had. That was, that was just uh, a magnificent display of, uh, of happiness. It was actually just genuine happiness there. That wasn't just, you know, some camera happiness. That was for real. That was beautiful, Trump. Thanks for this. Well, this will conclude round number one with Cardology. That leaves Trump at 500 points. This guy's toast at 400, and Patra at 100 points currently, which, granted, it might seem like very little, but it doesn't take much in the future rounds to climb back up. And, uh, you know, there are some, there are a lot of points for grabs in the later rounds of the show. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you can draw well, which I can't imagine you draw any worse than these guys, <laughs> you're probably going to get some pretty good points. So, let, uh, let us queue up into round number two. Round two. All right. Round number two's game is Twitch Chat Says. So, we surveyed the chat of all the participants and asked them a couple questions. And they answered. And based on the top answers, we featured those on a game board. And the contestants have to guess what their chat answered. Eight answers were given per... Um, well, a lot of answers were given, and we took the top eight of all of them. The first answer, so the top one that was given the most by the participants or the, the responders, is going to be worth 300 points. So if you really are in tune with your Twitch chat, you might be able to get more points out of this. Every other answer is going to be worth 100 points. You do not lose points for getting it wrong. But however, you only have two lives per board. So once you've tried twice in the same round and failed, then you're not going to be participating, which means sometimes one person gets the last say on every single board. But it doesn't happen all that frequently. So... Trump at 500 points means he's going to start last. Patra is going to begin first. Toast is going to be second. So, Patra, you have the, the first say on this question. When we asked Twitch chat, what is your favorite minion to silence? What did they answer? Um, I'm going to go with Hadronox. Is Hadronox on the board? <laughs> All right. You got it. Toast. All right, I let Trump get the last question out last round so that he'd be in the lead, so he'd answer last in this round. Also, wow. my answer is uh, here. <laughs> Twilight Drake. Is Twilight Drake on the board? All right, that was uh, the Twilight Drake. We just received a donation from Dong for $51. Thank you, as well as Lembada, who pitched the five bucks our way. Appreciate it. Trump, your move. I wonder whose viewers are behind on the times here, but I'm going to say Void Lord. Is Void Lord on the board? It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, not that good. Nailed it. Okay. <laughs> Who do you think uh, has the viewers who are just lagging behind a few metagames back? Probably Toast. <laughs> I believe it. Bothra, back to you. Uh, Edwin Van Cleef. Is Edwin Van Cleef on the board? Those are good guesses. Ew. Wow! Really? Okay. All right, chat. Toast. Mm, Sylvanas? Is Sylvanas on the board? <laughs> what? Look. Wow. Look, no Everyone's one's playing wild, dude. Things. Like, no <laughs> one's in wild. I don't know what yeah. that guess was. But the lesson here is the answer is never a wild card. Uh, am I up? Yeah, you're up. It's your move. 
All right. I think everyone likes hitting the face, so they don't like Doomsayer. There's Doomsayer on the board. Hmm. A man of the people. Pathra? A zest lackey. Is possessed <laughs> lackey on the board? Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the logic, though. <laughs> Lord, it just seems to go hand in hand. Toast, are you ready to lose your second heart? It's your move. Carnivorous cube. Mm. Is carnivorous cube on the board? All right. So they don't hate the full trinity. They just dislike two pieces <laughs> of it. God. All right. Trump. Let's go with first answer from the first phase of Acolyte of Pain. Is Acolyte of Pain on the board? Wow. I didn't think so. Toast. Oh my god, these people. <laughs> How do I get through to these people? Oh. Why do they sub to you? Try to put yourself in that mindset, right? Like, you can't understand it, and I get it, but now the point is, imagine you're them. Okay. What card do you like to have Toast get silenced? Because it's hilarious. All right. I need if I want. Okay, uh, Megasaur. Is, <laughs> really? Okay. Is Megasaur on the <laughs> Oh, nice try, Toast. Trump, let's go. The disrespect from the chat is unbelievable. Yes. Question If the word was Ultrasaur, would he get it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. It. But I would like to, to mention your board. The board is yours. You're the only one with yeah. the life here. So. Well, you tipped me off that Yogg Saron must be on there, since that is hilarious when you get silenced. Is Yogg Saron on the board? Oh, Never wow. a wild card, they said. <laughs> All right. Well, what else was on this board? Lanessa Sunsa. Really, chat? Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Obsidian statue. I can get that, but that's like way back. And the last one is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Chat. Are you gonna do every all right? So I know what we're starting with on the next question. All right, second question we asked the Twitch chat. Let's get that one on the Let, let's just let's just get it over with already, Twitch chat. If you're down to your last card and the board is empty, which card do you want? Pathra, you will begin first. Um I'm going to say Tyrantus. Is Tyrantus on this board? No. It is not. Just because it's actually the best card doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> this is Twitch chat's best card. <laughs> yeah, you have to get yourself in the mindset of somebody who wants to silence Ultra Zoros. This guy's toast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to give them the big D, Deathwing. What? 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 What is chat? The big what are you D. doing with your lives? <laughs> Trump. Well, the Lich King is popular and is a better answer, so I guess I'll take the number two. Lich King, are you here? Please save us. Number All right, you got it right. Six. Good. Pathra, can you follow? Uh, Deathwing. Really, chat? I feel like this is going to be wrong, but I feel like it's good, too. Uh, DK Rexar? <laughs> okay. Is Deathstalker Rexar on the board? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Nothing. Nope. I think it's more popular than Deathwing and Lich King, though. Just not, uh, not for this question, oddly enough. Toast. Ultimate infestation. <laughs> is ultimate infestation on this board? No, it's not. Take that. Ooh, not this time. Deathwing is there. Time. Trump. Blood Reaver Gul'dan. Is Blood Reaver Gul'dan on the board? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it seems like no one has a clue what's going on here. Toast. <laughs> Ultrasaur <laughs> is Ultrasaur yeah, on this on board. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Number four. Is there an Ultrasaur meme oh, going boy. on? 
I have to assume so. I wasn't privy to it. Today confirms it, though. We can't go one team. We might, we'd have to vet that answer. Trump. Uh, okay. Are all the answers memes or one more good answer? Let's go with one more good one. Shutterwalk. It's Shutterwalk on the board. All right, that was answer number two. So by the way, um, apparently Blood River Gul'dan was number nine. So it didn't make it to the top eight, but it was on the cusp of okay. right there. Toast. Uh, Yogg-Saroth. Is Yogg-Saroth <laughs> on the board? Come on, miss. Whoa, wow. All right, Trump, the board is yours, but wow. can't make this happen, though, because that's a lot of potential points. Hmm. Frostlitch Jaina? Is Frostlitch Jaina on the board? So far, we've missed out on all the Death Knights. Nope, that's a miss as well. So everybody's been eliminated, which leaves us with four unanswered or unfound answers to this one. What was number three? Really curious to see. What if they... Uh -huh. Archbishop Bennett okay. this? Okay, Reasonable. Enough. I, I can understand. All right, number five. Pyrobla... Sure, yep. I mean, it's 10 mana. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like the logic. Next one. Tess Greymane. That's really good. Okay, that's a good one. Like in, this, in the same vein as Yogg's are on, effectively. And the last one is. Is it? No. Jade Idol. Wait. <laughs> it should be 100 <laughs> points, but, you know, it was probably the best answer. Wow, wild. Yeah. That was a that was an un, a series of unexpected answers. Some of them were good, but um, some some less less good. All right, we got another question for Twitch chat says before we move on to round three. Let's get that one underway. Wait, ultimate infestation wasn't one of the answers. Oh my god! <laughs> no, it wasn't. Jade Idol made it instead of it. All mm -hmm. right, next question from Twitch chat says Patra. When we asked Twitch chat. What Hearthstone character would win a drinking contest? What do they say? Uh, I'm going to go with the innkeeper. Is the hmm. innkeeper on the board? Yes. Nice. All right. Good guess. This guy's toast. Uh, well, there are some cards with alcohol references in their name. So, youthful brewmaster. Is youthful brewmaster on the board? Master. Only number four, Toast. Nice try. Yeah, it's it's a very broad one. The Innkeeper is not technically a legendary, but it's a character in Hearthstone, so we can probably expand it a little bit. Um, so, yeah. hmm. Trump. Oh, uh, boy. Although I'm not sure how much uh, you could expand past the Innkeeper, but who knows. I'm going to throw out the Lich King. Is the Lich King on the board? Why? He seems like he could drink a lot. <laughs> He's popular. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Is Lich King on the board? No. Mm. Okay. It is not on the board. My bad. Patra. Um, Garish. Is Garish on the board? I mean, that that also makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Hmm. Garish Hellspear makes it there. Looks more fitting than Lich King. Toast. Well, we have the youthful brewmaster who's young, and the older version could probably drink even more. So, ancient brewmaster. Too far. That one's it's definitely wrong. Ancient right. brewmaster on the board. <clears throat> oh, oh my. But he drinks less, it seems like. Okay, I'm going for the number one answer. Based yeah. off of body mass, it's got to be Ultrasaur. <laughs> <laughs> is Ultrasaur on the board? Oh boy. Oh, my it, it would drink a lot. It would drink a lot. Uh, okay. Patra, you've still got three options to pick mm. from. I'm going to go with uh, Leroy Jenkins. Is Leroy Jenkins mm. on the board? No. Oh. He makes it there somehow. All right. Cool. Toast. Well, this character is in a tavern. Grim Patron. Is Grim Patron oh. on the board? Oh, oh my nice. god, number one Damn. answer still there. One answer left, Trump. It's your last life, so can you claim the 300 points 
Which one is that good? Drink, drink. <laughs> Who would drink, drink a lot? Drink. Toast is trying to trigger some kind of yeah. mimetic, like Who some memory. <laughs> water elemental? Is water elemental on the board? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like the, the logic is sound and I cannot argue it. Patro, back to you. Um uh friendly bartender. Is friendly um. bartender on the board? <laughs> what? Twitch chat. Oh come on now. Good luck. I, so, I had an epiphany. You did? Drinking. <laughs> what car that's popular that's always drinking? Life drinker. Oh. Is, is life drinker on the board? Wow. No. I thought that would be That's your ingenious deduction. Wasted. <laughs> <laughs> on Twitch chat says Patra. <laughs> oh, so you get okay. Um I'm gonna go with Ben Brode. <laughs> is Ben Brode on the board? <laughs> oh, that oh, been that so was good. Yeah, that would have been a very good one. All right, Toast. What could possibly be number one? Yeah. Have a drink. Have a drink. What is that? I mean, this. It's just, Beautiful. Uh, it's all the brewmasters, basically. Biggest minion, most alcohol, Deathwing. Is Deathwing on the board? Come on, man. Does he look like the kind of guy who'd sit back and pop a cold one open? Wow. Oh, all right, so what to is? everybody's complete puzzlement. Is it Shutter yeah. one? No idea. Which one is number one? Magni Bronzebeard. Mm. Okay, yeah, he's a dwarf. He's a hero. But he doesn't seem like more of a drink. Like, how's that? I feel like Innkeeper would be my first answer before Magni Bronzebeard. That's the way my brain goes. Um, <laughs> but Twitch chat just does things, it looks like. That was interesting. Well, that will conclude Twitch Chat says as a full segment. We've received a donation in the process. And okay with the $5. Thank you for pitching in the tip jar. And now before we move on to um, third round, I'd like to mention the Discord that we have for Streamer Showdown. We've got a Discord link that's being you know, spammed in the chat by, by a bot that every so often. And if you want to check it out directly, bit.ly slash showdown discord. You can hop on there if you want to talk to people on Discord, that's always appreciated. The channels are pretty open, so you can get yourself uh, in the Discord. Get in here, as they say. So let's move on to round number three, after Twitch chat says. Round three. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> are you ready for some of the most disturbing imagery you've ever seen oh. online? That's why I get my points. <laughs> okay, so this here is a complex game. Imagine a world where you could take two individuals of your choice, make them breed, and create an offspring, right? Or two, even, babies from these two individuals. This is what Kappa Babies is aiming to do. So here you'll have to figure out which individuals spawned the two offspring we're going to be displaying in the center, popping out of the egg. You're going to get 200 points for each right answer. You have to get both parents right to get credit for the answer. And you do not lose points for incorrect answers. So you'll just be rotating uh, one after the other. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it, it's a very disturbing one. Just warning, words of warning, disturbing images <laughs> are coming. Patra, you will be starting first as you are currently at 500 points. Um, oh yeah, that's right. You just buzz in when you have an answer. My apologies. There's no, there's no rotation. You guys just buzz in whenever you have it. All right. Kappa baby number one of six. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, so uh. who is this? Toast, you can't really. Uh -huh. hmm. You can't. Toast. Okay, one is Savish, the other is Firebat. Is it Savish yeah. and Firebat? It is. Those are not the most disturbing ones. <laughs> <laughs> Those are fairly safe for family viewing. Good job, Toast. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh boy. Kappa baby number Kappa, two. I need you to get all of these. Kappa. I got the fire bat, but not the, I didn't know it was a baby. I didn't see Savis there either. I guess it's yeah. the blue eyes. Oh, I see. You just you just look at blue eyes when you look at Savis. That's all you see? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. It's very uh, it's very reductive of you. Oh. 
<laughs> what the... Oh my. So I, I got one of those right. The other I didn't. <laughs> Bathro, would you like to explain to us how you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it looks so creepy. Are are devs allowed in this too? Oh, we, we have uh, a variety of. It's basically anyone you can think of, but okay. devs are generally not considered because, like, we want to take recognizable faces rather than yeah. people way out there. Hmm. I don't know who one of them is. Who is that? <laughs> oh, you know one of them. I kind of know one of them. I'm not confident, though. I had but one it's... for sure, but the second one just eluded me completely. Yeah. So, you know, you don't lose anything for trying. So, just there's nothing wrong with throwing guesses that you know are probably incorrect and maybe landing on the right answer. Who is this guy? <laughs> which, which, which of the two babies are you? Struggling with so right now. That baby looks a bit weird. Did you put in like <laughs> small streamers that I, I don't know? No, no, no. You you would know all these personalities. These are pro uh, players slash streamers that you well know. They're established personalities in the Hearthstone scene. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm gonna give you guys like another twenty to thirty seconds to buzz in, and then we're just gonna. Uh... <sighs> All right. It looks a little familiar. So one of them's name has two of the same letter in it. And it's a very weird letter you don't see very often in the English language. Patra, did you have something? Okay, uh, I'm going to guess Day 9 and Amnesiac. Day 9 and Amnesiac? <laughs> Didn't use the hint there. None of those have the same letter. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. But if you'd use the hint, maybe, uh, you know, if I had oh, given the failure. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So which one do you think is correct here, Trump? Like, of the two she named? I have no idea. Nothing? <laughs> the struggle is real. I, I knew I it was difficult. All right, well... Let's just reveal the. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Trump, Trump, Trump. What what I mean, I might as well take a free guess. Go. So, after your hint, I know it's 6 0, and then I guess Amnesiac? Is it 6 0 and Amnesiac? <laughs> no, it's not. Tell us what you got. You know what? I don't know, but I'm going to use their answers for my answer. It's Day 9 and Zixo. Is it Day 9 and Zixo? <laughs> <laughs> Trump! <laughs> Oh, well, we tried it. Thanks, boys. <laughs> All right, let's get the next abomination <laughs> online, shall we? <laughs> this is like a less fun game of Pokemon. Oh, my lord. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, had, I had one point five of these. So they're, they're both professional players. That's going to narrow down where you're looking, I think. Uh... I know one. Oh, you do know one. Okay, cool. I know we're, one. We're I just know that. the other one. I don't want to give it away again. <laughs> so if you've got one... Oh, yeah. No, I can't. I can't. Mm. Uh... Toast, go ahead. Okay, if they're professional player, I kind of see RDU and I kind of see AKA Wonder. Do we have AKA Wonder and RDU? Uh, eh. We do not. Does that help anyone? Nope. Not it right. helps in the sense that I wasn't thinking of either of them, but now I'm <laughs> thinking of them. Uh, the Trump's just completely fourth. We're like, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but yeah, it's funny because I only guessed. Like, I just, I just, I'm not that good. Patra. Okay, I'm gonna guess RDU, and that mouth looks like it's maybe Ravens. Is it Raven and RDU? So like, oh, I like, okay. like Raven, but he's not a pro player. Yeah, you know. Oh, oh sorry, my bad. We almost got there. Trump, th this is your 
Both this is your baby to figure out. You can name this kid. If you could name this kid, what would his name be? Well, let's say the left one. Let's say the left one. Yeah. Whose mouth does this belong to? Can you isolate the mouth? Who knows? Uh, the, the shape of the baby's head doesn't actually matter, does it? It's just like... <laughs> no, it does not. We're not going to have an overweight... I can't judge based on the head. I was going to guess based off of the head. Okay. Oh, really? Uh, okay. No, okay. The guess. So, I'll, I'll throw in a guess of RDU Pavel. Is it RDU and Pavel? Unbelievable! Oh! My god. Nice. You did oh it. The way the size, the shape of the head gave away Pavel? No, the <laughs> fact that the size didn't matter. Oh, okay. Yes, no, the size does not matter at all. You can just use your the fa the little facial features that we swap around. Um yeah, so world champion and Radu on the other side. Not disturbing enough yet. Baby number four. No, okay, we're getting there. Yeah, you're getting there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll let you get there. I'll stay away. Mm. Mm. All right. Big donation just came in from Tailbit with the 100, 11, and 10. Thank you, he says. Time to double the tip jar, Kappa. That's right, keep doing that. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Double the tip jar. Whose eyes are those? Are these both pros too? Um, yeah, these are easy. Like you should be figuring them out like this, but they're not professional players, you know. Yeah. Those are so simple. They're the simplest. Do you at least know like one of them at this point or? Mm. No. <laughs> Trump, you got any idea? No idea whatsoever. No, not for either of them. <laughs> Toast. Any insight? Nothing, nothing. Oh my. The eyes on the left. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, so let, let's just try to narrow <sighs> it down. They're both affiliated with the same organization. Oh. Uh oh. Toast, what you got? Raynad and Trump. Do we have Raynad and Trump? Uh, <laughs> Trump! How could you do this to yourself? I mean, obviously it was me. I can't recognize the other one. You mean your boss? Yeah. <laughs> Raynad. This was supposed to be my free point one, huh? Oops. Well, I mean, to be honest, I don't see Raynad in any of these images, but that's just a personal flaw. I just could not have guessed Raynad in a thousand years. Um, yeah. Well, fifth baby, fifth baby pair, I should say. Pop the egg. Surprise! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here's Johnny! Oh boy. So I guessed those yesterday and I did not sleep last night. <laughs> So, one is a pro player, one is a pro streamer. So if you make if you make them together, this is what you get. Ooh, I'm not sure I would know the person, even if the whole face were right. You probably would recognize them both if we gave them the full face. Okay. So what if I told you one of these two was affiliated to the same organization the previous two gentlemen were, were affiliated with? What? So the skin color can give it away a bit too. We went there. <laughs> oh, it's a Muzzy. Uh... What you got? Muzzy Kriparian. We have Muzzy and Kriparian. We do. <sighs> So what gave it away? Was it skin color? You finally yeah, skin it? color and organization. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> heaven save us! All right, show canceled. Baby number six. <laughs> but open up the egg. Reveal what lurks within.
Those are kind of sweet. Uh, like, I, you know, I, I wouldn't uh, run away as far from those two as. Oh, this guy's still so oh, No, I accidentally pressed it. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. All right, all right. Just give me 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh-huh. Oh, that's unfortunate, Toast. Uh-huh. It's, uh... Ali's... Uh... Ali Straza and Jackie Chan. Do we have Ali Straza and Jackie Chan? <laughs> Patra is wondering what the hell is going on here. Rightfully yeah. so. Toast, that wasn't either of them. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have something to tell the Toast, Patra? Is it a hint that oh, one of goodness. them is female? Like, the face? Or could we have put a man on that one? I don't think any. Are it, it, it says nothing. How do you even like figure out a baby's sex from their face at that age? It's way too young. So we have a pro player and a streamer here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. The, they, they used to be a part of the same organization. Oh, oh I got Patra, it. What you got? Amaz and Amnesiac. Do we have Amaz and Amnesiac? Ugh, no. But uh, but not quite. No. Trump, can you? I think it's one of those cases where both of them got one right. You think? He did say Ali Straza and Jackie Chan. Trump. Yeah. So Ali Amaz. Do we have Ali Straza and Amaz? I actually think I know who it is now. Ooh. Go. What is it? What would, what, would you, what would be your second guess, Patra, hypothetically? Zelaya Namaz. Zelaya Namaz. Nope, still not right. Uh oh. The two gentlemen in this picture were Orange <laughs> and Amaz. Oh, they really were in the uh, same park with all right. Orange. Right. So we'll be taking a swift bathroom break after this round, but we end the round of the Kappa Babies with Toast at the top with 1,900 points, 1,600 for Trump, and Patra with 500, but the artistic skill test has not yet happened, and that could upheave quite a few things so let's take a short break and it'll be uh we'll be right back back to the streamer showdown so we're onwards to round four after round three we just had toast uh at 1900 points trump at 1600 and patra at 500 before we move on to the second half of the show with round four which is going to be up next thanks Toast, for the graphic belly rubbing i'd like to mention the match reno tip jar which we've been running since the beginning of the show people who think that we've been doing a pretty good job on the crew, who are entertained by the show and would like to support it in the future episodes that will be coming up at a regular pace in the future, can donate on that website. So you just head on over to bit.ly, um, sorry, showdowntip.com, and you can just pitch a tip in the jar. We have Rexy2002, which just tipped $10 very recently, and the jar is a bit above 200 currently, which is, uh, which is quite good. We had a doubling up at this point. Well, without further ado, feel free to head on over there. We're going to be beginning round number four. Round four. All right, what is round four? Everybody was waiting. I mean, I was waiting for this. You know what? Let me just not put all of you in the same basket. This is Art Stone, which will, of course, require that our contestants display the most possible artistic skill that they've ever done before. We know how Toast and Trump end up drawing, which is, generally speaking, not the pinnacle of art. They tend to bamboozle each other. But Pathra here might just impress us because we've just never seen her draw so far. So the goal here is to make sure that the other participants can guess what it is you're drawing. If somebody gets it right, you both get 300 points. So there could be some tactics where you try to prevent someone from guessing, but ideally you want to make it as good as you possibly can. So do your best during the drawings. Each of you will be drawing three cards. So for a total of possible 900 points, I'd like to specify that symbols are not allowed. So no at symbol, no question mark, no exclamation mark. Don't go for letters, no numbers. Ideally, just go for drawings that people can, uh, can you know, figure out. Our arrows are generally you know, accepted as you can point to certain things if you want to emphasize people's attention. But, uh, you know, in good faith, try not to use symbols at all. So the first person to draw, I believe, is going to be this guy's toes here. Trump, my apologies, I lied. I always lie for this one. I always miss, I, I always. Okay. Trump, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Do it. One minute and a half, so 90 seconds for each drawing, for each of the participants. Hmm. Feel free to give, you know, a go at a guess whenever you feel like you've got it. You don't get multiple guesses, so you only have the one. Just make sure you get it right the first time. 
All right, this looks uh, it, it looks alive, I guess. It's a shape. It definitely is a shape. Patra, bone mare. <laughs> yeah. Do we have, do we have bone mare? Oh man! Wait, 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 for real? <laughs> I thought you were trying to fake me out. <laughs> it was so hard to draw that I didn't have time to fake anyone out. No, you did a good job in 30 seconds. I mean, she got it right away. Nice. Yeah, there's no fake out. Trump is only drawing in good faith here. Obviously. You're the only one who would do do that, Toast. Dirty tactics are, are yours. Mm -hmm. So, next player in line, I think, is Patra, but I'm probably going to be wrong again. No, I'm right. Okay, Patra it is. <laughs> Your move. <laughs> You're up. 90 seconds. It's the moment of revelation. Can she draw? <laughs> Better than Trump and Toast. Okay. Trump. Right? Show me Bitter Tide Hydra. Are we looking at Bitter Tide Hydra? Oh. Wrong, sir. Take your time, Patra. We got all day. We got 60 Aww. seconds to get this right. Mm hmm Oh, what what's that in the background? Looks like uh you know, take your time, make it nice and pretty. This is good drawing though. Like honestly, yeah. this might be the best drawing we've had on this show. It looks and like some kind of cave you know, it's like a mountain with a hole in it that looks like a hydra but we know it's not bitter tide hydra what kind of hydra will live in a cave besides cave hydra this is so sad hydra. <laughs> i'm sorry trump that's the I second type of hydra <laughs> i probably should have drew the cave uh, drawn the cave first so hypothetically trump <laughs> we redo this you don't get better time. Like, do you do you ever guess Cave Hydra? Do you ever get there, or do you just forget the card exists? I, I'm pretty sure I still guess Better Tide Hydra on this card. <laughs> <laughs> he took the 50-50. Fair enough. But sometimes what you gotta do in Hearthstone. Take care. Uh, take your best shot. All right, Toast. You're up on the drawing board. You've been All right, Pathra. Can you draw? Ninety seconds. Uh, I better not see a cave here. After the cave, I would have guessed the cave. I would have thought about, is there a second Hydra? Hmm. There are only two, I think, right? Yeah. Hmm. Pathra, ready to go. Branching paths. Do we have branching paths? Oh. Uh... He is on point. Okay. Nice no, job, is the thing. Uh, Trump, you gotta watch out, man. <laughs> she's, she's coming up right now. 1,400 points, 500 behind you. Two more guesses. Although you could catapult you. both. You know, both of you could go up simultaneously in the next one. Trump, you're going to be drawing your second card. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Pathor, if neither of us guess this, he doesn't get any points. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put... You don't but like understand. if you get it, and he if you get it, I mean he gets points too. So you won't catch up to him, right? It's net. <laughs> She'll be net. catching up to you though. I <laughs> mean, uh... <laughs> you think I don't see through your play? What is that? Sorry, I was focused on the discussion. <laughs> I might not even get this. <laughs> uh, it's a very angry candy. All right. Well, uh, this is. This is interesting. We got uh, two donations that came in, Kvoth with $7.80 and SPCMN. It's a 50-50. Patra, are you ready? Yeah, King Crush. Is it King Crush? Yeah. <laughs> what? She nailed it. <laughs> King Mosh. <laughs> Could have been King Mosh, yeah, but I don't think. There's only one king. Oh, my There's gosh. only one true king. You're right. I'm catching up. <laughs> I guess Patra's up next. If Trump gets that, the... This is oh, 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 hold up. Up. Hold up, hold up. I, I believe I saw a plus symbol there. Judges, <laughs> judges, 
And You're at the start, plus so, an arrow. Just those are symbols. This is inconsistent <laughs> judging. Yeah, but we, we were given the okay on the pluses and arrows yes. toast. Pluses and yeah. arrows are good. We totally said it. You just missed it. I I retract my accusation. <laughs> Three, two, one. Then count down. Uh, Bathra, begin. Oh, we got a donor's name who I reckon, uh, who's I recognize from a, a book series. I like your literature tastes. Well. Okay. <laughs> oh, are we? Okay. Oh, there we go. It's starting to make sense now. Trump, what you It's got? Witch's Apprentice! Is it Witch's Apprentice? Yes. Oh, son of a... Yes, your ass has <laughs> died! Pathra has climbed back from the bottom of this all the way to 2,000. The gap is really, really small now. And this is what I meant when I said the early rounds and they're sort of a warm-up. Because you can get back in there. Well, were you looking for the name of the card, Toast, or...? Uh, I saw the frog too late. Once the hand came out, it was a frog hand. It was too late. I understand. Well, good luck, Toast. Good luck with yours. You know, Pathra, if we don't guess here. <laughs> <laughs> Pathra, if you guess. That sounds very familiar. Oh. These guys always trying to just exploit the third guest to get them, their rivalry settled. Just you wait one day, you'll be caught off guard by a guest that'll just take over. Okay. This is the fake out, I think. Oh no, this better not be fake. Dead no, Pathra. Is it Dead Man's Hand? Pathra's oh. really good at this. <laughs> I <laughs> only didn't guess because I thought it could be a fake out. Of oh, course, no. that's what it I is. would I never. The same thing. Like you said the same thing. You guys need to get your stuff straight. All right. I need Trump. to pass Trump. Your move. Now Pathra could do it. She could climb above Toast in the points and just make it to 2.9 if she wins the next two ones. It could be done. Trump, don't let us down here. Okay, so never mind, Pathra. You're going to stay down here. <laughs> nice fake out, Trump. Draw the real thing. <laughs> Draw the real thing, buddy. <laughs> Oh, the salt. Oh, fair enough. Oh, uh, <laughs> is this real? <laughs> is this for real? <laughs> what? What is that, Trump? <laughs> I, I I feel like this is fake, but oh, go ahead, go go, just go. Fire bat. Do we have fiery bat? Fiery bat, uh, I mean. <laughs> it is not fiery bat. <laughs> Trump, oh just give me the real answer. We can uh, surpass <laughs> Pathra. Trump, <laughs> you, got, you got 35 seconds. You can keep drawing. He doesn't want Trump? to give you points. Hello? I mean, uh, <laughs> what else can I draw? <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop right there. What is wrong with you, Trump? I mean, like, There's if I no get. Race button. Right. Oh, I know what it is now. Oh, you okay, I'm, you get it? I'm actually not gonna get this right. I know. Okay, okay. well, give know. Shot. you got 15 seconds. No, 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 like, I don't want Trump to surpass Pathra by that much because this doesn't give me the lead over Trump, even if I guess it right. I'll okay. give my answer after it's over. So, it gives you a lead over Pathra, worst case scenario, but if you don't feel like you need it, you don't feel like you need it. What I don't need it. Answer? <laughs> okay, my guess would have been uh, King Togwaggle. Okay, that was it's, not gonna be. Uh, it's flame, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Flame. What's with the crown? That's a flyer. It's a fire. Campfire. That's it's distinctly fire. different from the crown of the last time. The yes, fangs look I'd like, like to that. clarify that the question marks were just at toast from Mark, not actual okay, symbols. So now I'm trying to figure out. So you drew the two legs. Now, what was that thing? That's a tail. Two? It's a tail. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, I get it. Okay, Pathra, you're next. Uh -huh. Okay. 
All right, 90 seconds. Trump, if you get this one right, Toast is going to be tying up with you, and Patra is going to be really close behind both of you. Look at the artistic skill here. Gentlemen, you should take a lesson. Toast, what you got? Wanted. Oh. Is it wanted? No. Oh my god. <laughs> what a nightmare. And Pat, great mind. Perfect. Point. That's very good. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, that is going to conclude, I believe, the full segment, if I'm not mistaken, or somebody left. Tell us with the last drawing. Okay. We can, well, we can do it, Oh, oh boy. We share a connection. Good luck, Toast. I believe. Wow, that was a that was one hell of a segment for Pathro though. If you look at the climbing points, there's still more to go afterwards in the last rounds, so we're nowhere near done. Okay, I love how the all the little characters that are drawn are always different, but hideous. Like it doesn't matter. I'm sure that is something. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, different but similar but hideous simultaneously. Ah. Do you have it? Patra. Noble sacrifice. Do we have noble sacrifice? Yes. Ooh, baby. <laughs> so, this is the most points any contestants ever gotten in this one round. <laughs> that is twenty four hundred points. In a on fire. <laughs> wow. I don't think we've ever had that happen before in Artstone. Ever. Well, wow. okay. Well, that will leave this guy still set, uh, you know, in the lead by 500. Patra <laughs> is 2,900. And Trump at 2.5K in third place. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, Trump. What about that, huh? I told you to work on your artistic skill. You never believed. <laughs> you guys never listen. I tell you every time. I can't look at this any longer. <sighs> Unfortunate. Well, before round five, another reminder that we've got the Mashmino tip jar open. If you guys want to head on over, if you think we're doing a good job and you're enjoying this, if you're entertained, head on over to showdowntip.com and you can give us some of your hard-earned funds oh. to help support the show in the future. And if you want to check out the YouTube channel as well, um, we have that. We have the um, Showdown YouTube, bit.ly slash Showdown YouTube. It's going to bring you over there so you can subscribe for all the Showdown content. We've got more games to cover than Hearthstone only. So it's just a matter of time before you get uh, some more episodes on there. We're going to continue the Hearthstone stuff um, as always. But there's also League of Legends content and other games that I'm sure you guys are fond of. Without further ado, though, let us get into round five. Round five. Day okay, so we have six rounds total. Uh, this uh, is almost the last, but not quite. At round five, we have the dank memes. Now, the dank memes are crowd favorite because the dank memes means that the crowd gets to actually participate. So we will be submitting an image to the participants. They will have to create a meme, so add text caption to the image and try to create the spiciest or the most glorious, the most fun, the most absurd meme that they can. In order to garner votes from the audience, you in the chat will be voting once the images are showing up. We will be mixing them, shuffling them, so you can't tell who made what. And then you get to vote by typing exclamation mark A, exclamation mark B, exclamation mark C, as soon as the images come in. Then we'll unshuffle them, give them attribution to the creator that made them, and then, uh, yeah, we'll figure out who wins. There's a 1,000 points per image up for grabs. It will be splitting a 1,000 points based on the percentages. Um, so if you get 20% of the votes, you get 200 points. You get 80%, you can get 800 points. So Trump, better step up your meme game, boy, because uh, there's a lot here. Image number one. Let's go. Oh, that's pretty tame. That's a very tame image. <laughs> I've got ideas, though, but I can't participate, unfortunately. So we still give them quite a bit of time. That's two full minutes of submissions for the dank memes. Very, mm -hmm. very lost in thought. 
I feel like we always have the same people submitting early. Like after 45 seconds, submit. Someone submitted it. already? <clears throat> oh, yeah, Toast has submitted already at 40 wow. seconds. Wow. Yeah, again, he's always just early on the... Toast is always 40 Don't you think memes are something to be th mulled over by quite a bit though? It's not just an instinctual thing. It's an art. But I mean, if you embody memes, you can probably generate them fast. I guess there's a philosophical argument lurking under there. A good discussion to have. Hathor, do you have an idea for this image? Uh, kind of? Uh, it's kind of hard. All you right. must be one with the meme. Ow. I feel like we're getting a new Hearthstone card. 40 seconds. Almost 30. Yeah. Also, I saw some kid in chat whine about, like, I'm gonna win because it's on my channel. Newsflash, dumbass, the answer <laughs> is anonymous, so people don't know which one is mine. Okay, I'm sorry for uh, my language. It's okay. 10 seconds before submission time is over, Patra. Better click it. Okay, okay. All right, all the memes are in. Let us reveal this glorious memory. What did they make? On the left, wah, 40 dust. Exclamation mark A to vote for that. Wah, 12 by the way. <laughs> wow, thanks Blizzard, 40 fucking dust. <laughs> okay, well, voting is open for about 60 seconds, but now, just uh, if we thought of getting sponsored at any future point, the fucking dumbasses are not going to get those, I'm afraid. <clears throat> we may have some problems trying to monetize this thing. It's a work in progress, though. YouTube is not in flames. 40 seconds left. Do you feel confident, Patra? Don't tell me which one it is. I don't want to know. But do you feel confident in your meme? Yeah. Uh, you feel confident in your meme? Okay, cool. I do. Mm -hmm. I feel like the theme is very similar across most of them. But you can tell who put more time into it. You know, <laughs> Trump with the crafting of, of memes. I can tell whose is what. <laughs> whose is which. Which is whose, doesn't matter. 15 seconds left on the votes. Again, exclamation mark A, B, or C, depending on which one you want to vote for. We'll unscramble them afterwards to give them attribution. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's unscramble this thing. And on the left is this guy's toast with the colorful language. <laughs> In the middle, Trump. And on the right, Pathra. I see you, Trump. I see you. What are the votes looking like? At the Mine is so much more to the point. I, Mine I is my edgy. Tongue. Oh, no. Come on. Toes gets 59% of the votes. You guys are 12, by the way. <laughs> Trump, Trump gets 27%. I think this was worth it just for that shot. And Patra gets 14%. <laughs> of the vote. So very, very similar line. I mean, the why, and then, you know, of course, Toast goes for the crude comedian jokes. Um, Trump goes for the refined jokes and Pathor goes for the dismissive jokes. <laughs> There's a bit of like the whole, the whole panel of comedy here. I get it. But Chad is very specific. They're 12 after all. All right, image number two. What memes will this generate? Pathor's still ahead. Wow, that's beautiful, Crip. Mm. Oh, oh! I have a issue with my. Uh... Yeah, so you are you have submitted already. Yeah. Yeah. I too. Should we refresh or something? All right. Okay. Fixed. Mm. I'll give you a bit more time if you desperately need it, but I don't think you will. All right. Any ideas coming to mind here, or are we just? Uh... Yeah, mine works. Yeah. Uh, all right. <sighs> hmm. 
So, do you guys know where this image is from initially? Aside from the crib face, obviously, which I think everybody recognizes. Does anybody have a clue what this image is from? I guess not. This doesn't ring a bell for anyone? Interesting. Uh -oh. I didn't know it initially either. I was told by Chan Man what it was. Apparently, the Salt Bay is real. One minute twenty on the meme. It's a pretty beautiful image of Crib, though. Do you think he'd look like that if he worked out? I don't know, man. Vegan and all. He's also about two feet taller than this. No one submitted yet. What is We're this? really busy thinking. <laughs> Am I disrupting you with my this is important for Trump? Oh, I see. Do you need help? I could send the Russians. Pathroy, you've got anything? Uh, this is the most dead silent I've ever seen a cast. 20 seconds left. Oh my god, what are they thinking up? 15. We're coming down below 10. No submissions yet. Toast has submitted once. 8, 7, ah. 6, 5, 4, 3, and all the submissions are in. Okay. <sighs> Let's go. Let's scramble those. Look at those fresh memes. And see if anything comes up. On the left, got a boring stream. Just add some salt. In the middle, Jost forever. On the right, there was nothing I could do. I played that perfectly. All right, so we just uh, we just played off of Crip. So Trump, don't tell me which one it is, but are you feeling confident? Yes. That was a very well thought out answer. I was uh, looking at the other two and they kind of suck. <laughs> Whoa, all right. That, that is some serious shot. Okay, from the guy who's last place currently, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Toast, uh, do you feel like you, you just didn't have anything to put together here? It took you very long to submit this time. I don't, I thought it was good, but it might be uh, too advanced. I don't think I'll win this one. Okay. Too advanced. Uh huh. I see. Okay. You're like the dude who just takes paint and throws it on a white wall and calls it art. And then this is way too deep for you guys. Yes. When your IQ is so high, it's hard to find people who understand you. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Patra, do you feel like Trump or? Um, I, I do think all of them are pretty average. Okay. <laughs> it was hard. For what it's worth, I agree. The voting is closed. Let's unscramble these fresh memes. On the left, this guy's toast. Got a boring stream, just add some salt. Pat, are you went the low row. I'm disappointed. <laughs> there was nothing I could do. I played that perfectly. And on the right, Joe's forever. Okay, what are the votes for this one? On the left, 30% for this guy's wow. toast. 55% for Trumpino. And on the right, Pathra with 15%. So nice. I'm not sure whether or not that closes the gap between Pathra and Trump, but it's got to make it pretty close. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Second place, Pathra is back in third place, but the scores are very, very close. We're talking like a little bit under 140 of difference. So Trump, I think you've got another meme here to put together. To Wait, is to that, is that, that glitter or salt? It is salt. Oh, okay. I did not even know that. Is the Salt Bay meme, which I had no, like, I just have zero idea what that is. Um, I thought it was glitter. Initially. Yeah. So, oh, there are no more dank memes. Sorry, I lied. There apparently are no more images. There was only two dank memes, so I lied. 
Brilliant. Just donated ten dollars. Thank you for that. Before we move on to round number six, again, last round reminder that the match arena tip jar is still open. Before we end the show, if you've been entertained, if you've liked this, if you'd like to see more, feel free to support the show, chip in, and head on over to showdowntip.com where you can donate if you feel like it. And then round six, last and final round. Final round. And this is uh, one of my personal favorites, even though initially I was kind of lukewarm on it. I grew to like it because I like to be to see people scramble to put uh, one and two together. So this one is Emojigg. So we'll be showing wow. you a bunch of emojis or images. You have to put them together to make a voice line. You're trying to figure out which voice line it is. It isn't necessarily a card, but it is within the Hearthstone universe. And you can probably guess it from trying to assemble the pieces. It's not always obvious. Some of them are much, much harder than other ones. So, yeah. If you get it right, you get 400 points. And you do not lose points for getting it wrong. So you can take a guess, and you're not going to get penalized. You only have one shot at it. So if you get it wrong on the buzzer, you're not going to be participating for that question. Are we wrong? You just have to read the voice line, right? Yeah, ideally. Good luck. I mean, it's not as easy as it sounds, right? Easy. All you have to do is read what's on the board. Okay, then do it. All right, all right, Trump. You seem pretty confident. Emo emoji number one. I'm down. <laughs> the confidence is astounding. Okay, maybe it's a little... What? Well, I mean, like you said, Trump, mushroom punch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, is it mushroom punch? Isn't Trump, it you mushroom power? Sorry? Isn't it mushroom power? There's two of them. When he, when he uh... plays and he says something, when he attacks, he says something else, yeah. Uh... All right, two voice lines. All right, so did you read that one out, Trump? Did that work out? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Forgot how to read. All right, emoji <laughs> number two. Trump. I choose death. Is it I choose death? Wait, where's the heart though? <laughs> you don't choose life. You choose death, not life. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is complicated, right? Very difficult, very difficult. All right, well, number three then. We're going through those very fast. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. What? Toast. I'm in charge now. <laughs> oh. Is it I'm in charge now? It just sounds <laughs> That's what that's what exactly that's how you read emojis. Like that is how you do it. You literally take every bit I man power now. Oh. That's my thing. I'm, yeah. I'm in. I'm a battery. <laughs> Number four. Well, that's not as emoji heavy as I'd hoped, but toast. Okay, initially I thought we were going towards the end, but then I thought maybe the end is coming to us. The end is coming. Is it uh. the end is coming? <laughs> oh boy. He's oh. he's back in the lead, and I don't think there's a way to bridge that gap. Fifth emoji. <laughs> Toast. I taste mana. <laughs> oh, what? I taste. Wrong. You got it wrong, buddy. Really? Huh. We're close, but we're not there. Tipatra. I can taste mana. Is it I can taste the mana? <laughs> That's oh, enough, I guess. Man. It's a can. It's an I can toast. What did you do? <laughs> I, I missed it. More. What the hell, man? <laughs> Six out of eight. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Toast. You face Jaraxxus. <laughs> oh my god. Oh that, my god. <laughs> that is indeed a you face, a jar, an axe, and a six. 
So this is in fact you face Jaraxxus. Points to toast. Emoji number seven. Oh, the faces on these participants gets me every time. Aradar Lord of the Burning Legion. <laughs> Is it Aradar Lord of the Burning Legion? <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, those last two are very good. <laughs> All right, number eight. For 400 points, the last demo GG. If you get this one, I'll give you a personal medal. Toast. Oh my god. Uh, you can escape death's shadow. No. Is it you can escape death's shadow? No, it's not. Trump. You cannot escape death's shadow. The Is shadow it? of death. The shadow of death. <laughs> Is it you can escape know, the shadow of death? You can't change your answer. <laughs> yeah, he did it. He did. He went there. He changed his answer at the last second. Nice All right. Job. So Trump read the emojis and Toast tried to remember what the voice line was. Different approaches. One is clearly superior. Trump, well done. You got. Uh, you got this last point. Well, this will conclude round number six in the final game we had with Emo GG, and this will also put the final score on the board. We've got this guy's Toast at five thousand eight hundred. And 88 points, Trump at 4,521, and Patra with 3,588. I think combined, these scores have to be the biggest we ever had on the show across participants. This game was the amount of points that were scored in this game was more than, than I'm used to. Um, we, we have a lot of games, generally speaking, with a lot of like answers are simply not given, but I think you guys did a pretty good job of it. So, a good show. Toast, you win again. So you get the winner's privilege. Pick an emote, spam it in the chat. What is your emote? Uh, let's go with Jebated. Mix things up. <laughs> okay, no pot champ today, gotcha. You, you Jebated me. Wouldn't have expected that one. So spam your Jebated. Your champion is back once again. I'll have to see him again next next show, probably. Yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's okay first. Well, this will uh, conclude the show. Again, thanks for the participants for showing up. Patra, thanks for coming on. It's nice seeing somebody who can draw. Yeah, really, <laughs> really appreciate that modification in the general way the segment goes. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Um, I was already looking forward to it. And yeah, I, I, I had a blast. Too bad I couldn't take down the toast. So thanks yeah. for inviting me. That's no, a pleasure. We're always, uh, always looking for new participants for a streamer showdown. Uh, Trump. Uh, kind of close for a while, then not so close. Then you got passed by Patra. You almost, you kind of avoided disaster the last second, but then you still ran right into it. Um, how do you feel? You know, I I would feel better, but the you faced Jaraxxus, Eridor Lord of the Burning Legion was so good that I don't feel bad at all. Yeah, well, you can thank... Uh, Fantastic. Props to whoever came up with that one. Yeah, I was going to say, like, the, the people who are in charge of coming up with those have been putting in more effort than they than they ever have. And that one I think was particularly creative for Emoji G. So despite the horror of Kappa Babies, I think all of you know, all in all the show, the show went pretty well. So if anybody has shout outs, we're gonna go in order here. Toast, any shout outs to do before the show is over? I would like to thank my two opponents. They put up a very good fight and I wanna commend their bravery for facing me. Uh, shout outs um, to of course streamer showdown. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I don't have much people to thank. Um, I'll be streaming right after this. So if you're on this channel, stick around. Yeah, that's it. Also, uh, I'm going to issue a challenge to every Hearthstone content creators out there. I know it is intimidating to come on the show, but I want you to face me next month, Sunday at 8 p.m. Okay, that's it. Trump. <laughs> Any shout outs? Was that face you in the new expansion? Uh, streamer showdown with the new expansion. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, shout out to my, both contestants. Pathra, that's some excellent drawing. If only I could draw that well. And I, I shouted it out again, but 
thanks to the geniuses who came up with all the emoji uh, clues. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, Patra, shout outs for the other show. Um, I'm going to congratulate Toast for winning again. <laughs> I want to thank uh, Chadman. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, it's just my name. All right, cool. Well, I have my own shout outs, of course, for the people who are working behind the scenes, Chanman, V, and Muffins for putting this together. The production's kind of smooth. We finally ironed out a lot of the kings that were there prior. We're also getting a cool system for keeping track of donations. Speaking of which, we just got a $25 donation from The Box Wine, which uh, chipped in at the last second in Matcherino. We've got the tip jar. You can head on over if you feel like it. Showdowntip.com if you want to check it out. There are more streamer showdowns for other games. If you guys are interested, there's a YouTube channel that's also available. Um, you can follow the link to in the chat. You can follow them on Twitter at @streamershowdown, uh, at stream showdown, and you can always find them on Discord as well. There's also a link in the chat that's been passing by for the entirety of the show's duration. The VODs will be up as soon as we have them on the, you know, the YouTube channel for Streamer Showdown. On this note, for myself, the cast and the participants, have a nice one. And thanks for being with us.